Greetings, curious acolytes of the Force, and welcome back to the Archives. Of all the lightsaber forms that are regularly practiced, few have more interesting history than the second form of lightsaber combat, the lightsaber form known as Makashi. Form 2 has been in use since the very ancient days of the Jedi Order, having been invented during the Great Schism. The first Great Schism, in fact, when the Jedi suddenly found themselves fighting against one another and saber-wielding foes such as themselves. Form 1 wasn't working, and the Dark Jedi would actually be the first ones to pioneer the duelist form before it went into regular use among the wider order. But things would change over centuries, and by the time of the Clone Wars, Form 2 is something of a relic of the old ways. It is hardly used by any Jedi in the Order, except of course by one Dooku. His study and mastery over the archaic lightsaber form gained him much notoriety in the Order. Dooku became such a prolific duelist that his departure from the Jedi was a major blow. After this, Dooku's power only grew to the point where he was almost completely undefeatable in single combat, with even Grandmaster Yoda having difficulty overcoming him or matching him. But the question we raise today is why did Dooku choose Makashi out of all of the other forms? What drew him to this specific form to master? And furthermore, what was the original reason that Makashi even went out of practice among the Jedi? All this shall be answered in today's holocron, so bow to your opponent and ready your blade, because this holocron we are about to open. Why did Form 2 fade out of popularity among the Jedi? This one is a bit more straightforward, and has to do with the Rusan reformation and the perceived extinction of the Sith Empire. Makashi at this time was still a prevalent form used by the Jedi up until a few years after 1000 BBY. Interestingly, we can actually trace a point in time prior that the form began to fade from widespread use. Unfortunately, it all had to do with the form's primary shortcomings, that being that it wasn't well suited for blast deflection and it was weak against multiple opponents. The start of the fall of Makashi would likely begin around the year 3681 BBY or the start of the Great Galactic War. During this war between the Republic and the New Sith Empire, most Jedi used forms that were suited for multiple combat scenarios. This specific war was like no other, as it wasn't just Jedi versus soldier, or even Jedi versus Sith. Battlefields were swarmed with a large mixture of enemies since the Republic and the Sith Empire fought with foot soldiers right next to their force wielders, making it a far different war. Jedi could be deflecting blaster fire one moment and then facing a Sith warrior the next. And because of this, a well-rounded combat style was absolutely necessary for survival. Furthermore, in these large-scale battlefield engagements, Force users were often surrounded by enemies and were forced to switch between opponents with absolute flawless consistency. Otherwise, they would simply be cut down, either by the blade or by blaster fire. In the Galactic War, there was no margin for error when the battle began. It was because of this that very few Jedi chose to continue practicing the prevalent second form of lightsaber combat, the duelist-centric form. In the war, styles such as 3, 4, and 5 were the most popular, as they offered a lot more versatility on the battlefield. Many Jedi outright deemed Form 2 as a major weakness. Makashi suffered from the lack of flexibility. The thing about Form 2 is that it performs one function and performs it perfectly. But in the end, it is only one. In single combat with another lightsaber wielder, which again did not happen very often during this war, there was no equal to Makashi's power. But that strength was a little too niche for a grand majority of Jedi during this conflict, and they needed forms that granted them more options in the dynamic situations that they found themselves in. But it should be noted that mostly during this time, it was the Sith that kept Form 2 alive during this engagement, feeling an obsession with besting Jedi at the blade, no matter how versatile the other forms may be. Sith assassins often found themselves in single combat scenarios, and so, although the usage of Form 2 was weakened, it was still kept alive by the Sith. Moving beyond this, many members of the Sith High Command also preferred Form 2 Makashi, as they would only engage opponents worthy to meet them at the Blade. After this, Makashi would make a resurgence during a war known as the War of Light and Darkness, a war which ended in 1000 BBY, culminating in the Rusan Campaign. This would be when the Army of Light faced the Brotherhood of Darkness, and while there were ground troops using blasters, this war featured armies of saber wielders. When the war concluded, the Sith were thought to be all but destroyed, and the Jedi ushered in an era of peace by their Grand Master, Fae Coven. 
a Grand Master who feared that the Jedi had gone too far and were not military soldiers but should be keepers of peace. Again, the Jedi swung too far in their dogma, and because of this, not only avoided anything to do with the Sith, but actively shut down anyone who had rumors that the Sith may not truly have been killed that fateful day. The galaxy had been beaten down and was exhausted by war. The Senate then disbanded the Army of Light in an event known as the Ruson Reformation, and the Jedi signed a decree that they would never organize their own formal military ever again. Over the next 900 years, Makashi would in essence go dormant within the Jedi, as anyone who practiced the duelist form was basically making a statement that they intended to fight other lightsaber wielders, thus painting a target on their back because they would be under heavy watch and scrutiny from the Jedi Council. The exact same thing that happened to a young Dooku when he decided to train in the form. But why did Dooku choose this? Dooku was introduced to Form 2 lightsaber combat as a Padawan, as a young man, he was always far different from the other students, considered by many as an outsider. Although Dooku had been taken from his home and was not raised as a count, refinement was in his blood. It was who he was. He was known as precise and pristine. His uniform and bedding were always immaculate. He walked with regality, even as a very young boy. Dooku was special, and he knew it. Because of this, the other students despised him, deeming him arrogant believing that Dooku thought that he was better than them, which of course he did. Dooku had ambition, and he was unapologetically competitive. Dooku was bullied, but it never really bothered him because he knew that it stemmed from a place of jealousy and inferiority. Form 2 was attractive to Dooku because he was already a contrarian. Makashi was elegant, precise, and perfectly suited for how Dooku thought of himself. Not to mention, the lure of dominating a single opponent in combat spoke to his competitive nature. It was just another way to prove his superiority over his peers. Dooku believed that Form 2 was pure. Many Jedi believed that he was too oriented on combat. This caused Yoda to take Dooku as an apprentice personally. Yoda is one of the few individuals that Dooku would listen to, the greatest duelist the Jedi had ever seen. But still, throughout all of this training, Dooku was loyal to Form 2. Dooku believed that his focus on the lightsaber was a statement and a testament to the Jedi's devotion to peace and security through superior force. Dooku would even overcome the weaknesses of the form, as he learned to deflect blaster fire, even with the curved tilt design of his lightsaber that he specialized in, a weapon meant to give him a superior angle in one-on-one -on -one combat. He could deflect blaster fire better than anybody else, and in the end, Dooku despised the practice and devotion of multiple forms, believing that if somebody wanted to become a true master of the blade, one form is all they needed. It was because of his fascination with a dueling-centric form that nearly no Jedi during the Clone Wars could ever raise a successful blade to him. He was simply better than them. One-on-one, -on -one, he could butcher any Jedi, save it for Skywalker or Yoda. The other Jedi were inferior. And in the end, many of the same reasons why Makashi called to Dooku are the same reasons that the dark side would. Resolvement of conflict through superior force, and a feeling of superiority overall. But anyway, my friends, may the force be with you. Thank you for visiting our archives, and I hope that you have a great day.